I was really impressed by uh, the fact that your husband went public with saying uh, he actually saw a UFO and it touched him in his heart. And it is something that people who were contact, who had, who had this a similar experience, can really understand. What does it feel like? I mean, what was it like for him? Did she ever tell you about this? No, we haven't had that discussion. Actually, Dennis didn't reveal that story. That Something happened 25 years ago with some friends that he was with. And one of the friends actually wrote in her book about the experience. So Dennis tried not to... Um, talk about it publicly because it was something that he you know just decided to to stay off of and UFO is unidentified flying objects so it could be an alien craft or it could be something else so it's so uh Okay, so I, un I understand that we that we have to that for political reasons we have to speak hypothetically of this, um, which you know I agree with you. But uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, as far as I'm informed, uh, Daniel Sheehan is, was the uh, a legal advisor for the Disclosure Project, a group of, uh, of military people who want hearings. Uh, well, you know, Congress. I think um, Ronald Reagan and. Um, President Carter, I think both of them said that they saw UFOs. I think it's a very arrogant position for the human race to think that if the multitudes of planets and stars that are out there, that we should be the only place on Earth that has life. That's right. Well, we are the only place on Earth that has life, we're the only place in the universe that has life. Yeah. So, so do you think that, that we will ever, that we, the two of us, we will still experience the moment when the, the governments officially disclose the truth? Uh, I don't know. You know, my 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 understanding of that is that I don't need the world to believe or to disbelieve in in aliens. It's just not even anything that I can that I worry about, think about, or anything. I would suggest, though, that if governments did start to understand or want to make public that there may be extraterrestrial life, or if they have evidence to show the evidence, I have a, a cynical mind that it would be used actually to as a, a means to weaponize space to create more fear to create more control through government control as opposed to liberating the human experience in understanding that there is life elsewhere do you see I, I think that it would be used negatively so that I keep it out of my consciousness it, it, it doesn't matter to me either way <laughs>